spoilers, guys. Spoilers. New Scorpius Rex revealed. Ooh wee woo wee. <laughs> what can I say? We have fun here. I'll reap my beaver babies. How you doing? Today, we're going to be talking about the new reveal that Mattel has been trying to keep under wraps for the longest time. If you didn't know, uh, Camp Cretaceous, yes, uh, season two, you hadn't watched it already, well, go watch it and then, uh, uh, I don't care. There was a teaser for um, E750, which was hinted to, I think, in the first uh, season? But it definitely, it was alluded to, I think, or something was nefarious was going on. And then in season two, we, they outright just showed us um, E750 and that we hear, we heard it's raw uh, at the end of the credits i think it was and we also yeah you saw its silhouette when it was in the uh it's like test tube thing so a while ago uh pictures of it were floating around on the internet of uh the toy of the what was going to be called or what had been known as the Scorpius Rex. These were all backed up and I think I even made a video on it or maybe the toy and I can't exactly remember what it was um, had mentioned that they had seen what it was that it was a, a sort of in between Indominus Rex and Indoraptor um, and they weren't going to spoil the name but then uh, they found a picture of like it being on a shelf and in the sh on the shelf it was said Scorpius Rex. Um, he was like, oh, okay, well, it's it's out there. That's the name of it. Uh, but we didn't know what it was going to look like. All we had to go off was uh, on Earth. Is what is that? So, um, yeah, a few YouTubers, or at least I know of one that made a video on the, uh, the, on the toy line, or at least the toy of Scorpius Rex. And they ended up getting a copyright claim, uh, which isn't a strike, I think. Oh, maybe it is. I don't know. Um, because a lot of the times you can get copyright claims and all they do is they they can choose to like block the video worldwide which is what happened with me back in 2018 where I'll probably put up the video behind me hey there it is look at it it got about 100,000 views within like three or four hours it was really quick I set it off and I went to bed and then I woke up the next day to find that I had been copyright uh, claimed it had been blocked worldwide pretty much anything you could do to the video to stop it going anywhere had been done the reason why I'm filming this covering it now is that two uh, people have made videos. One bought a, and I'll probably put the video now, they bought um, a new T-Rex, which looks really cool, by the way. I mean, it's the same sculpt we've seen a million times with Mattel, um, but it has this uh, feature where it can break off uh, the, the equipment, like the, the capture equipment for it, um, which is very reminiscent of the, the good old days of Kenner. <laughs> uh, they, they bought the T-Rex, and on the back of it, it said, look out for these other products and guess what was highlighted and it was the same image that had floated around uh on the internet that people had covered got struck and for struck down when i did my video uh showing the toys that were going to be coming out um in 2018 for fallen kingdom stuff like the indoraptor stuff like um the allosaurus and things like that the roarables um mattel was the one that claimed my videos not universal it was mattel but now that the products are out and on the back of the box it's the same one and it doesn't look like anything any other dinosaur we've seen before it's camp cretaceous related and it kind of matches the description of um the silhouette in that test tube which is spiky um there was a lot of theories that it could be other dominus um which would have been really cool but um uh, at the same time I, I well okay let's have a look let's have a look at what this scorpius rex we don't wanna, don't want to see it look away now or just have a party already shown it anyway if you were to click on the video you're going to be spoiled <laughs> um if we have a look at that I'm not that bothered. The commenter who said that, oh, it's kind of like a, a, a midway point between Indoraptor and Indominus Rex, they were right. They pretty much just like 
through. They, they, they're like, you know those animorphs where it's like a guy who turns into like a rhino or a bear. They basically did that with Indoraptor and Indominus. And they were like, yep, that'll do halfway. That's good. Because <laughs> it's it's like, it's it's on all fours like Indoraptor. Um, its head's a little bit broader like Indominus Rex. It, it's basically an Indoraptor. It's more towards Indoraptor than Indominus Rex. So it was like the proto Indoraptor, which I guess is the whole reason behind it. It's like the test subject. And uh, maybe this is what they were wanting to build Camp Cretaceous around. Like, oh, you know, it kind of shows the kids, but also at the same time, lore-wise, it was it sh the main reason to watch it for lore, I guess, would be that it shows that there was an Indoraptor prototype. The Indoraptor wasn't exactly a prototype you know, in Fallen Kingdom, there was one previous to it. Um, you know, not many people are going to care about unless you're like into Jurassic Park and you want to know all the lore. But yeah, design wise, um, I, I, I get it. At the same time, I don't, uh, I get why they went with it. It's a safe design. It's like an Indoraptor. So kids who are going to see it are going to be like, oh, you know, I recognize that. Oh, it's Jurassic World. But I've seen Indominus Rex uh, concepts that I've, liked more like the Maulasaurus or something like that then again Maulasaur is a dinosaur that is it's kind of like it's not kid friendly because it looks kind of like zombified it, well you know it's not flesh falling off it but it kind of looks a bit you know necrotic and it's like being shrink wrapped but for me E750 could have been an Earl Dominus. it could have been what it is now the Scorpius Rex um but I'm not really that fussed when it comes to it. Um, I'll see. I mean, we'll do another watch party when season three comes out, which is like soon. Like, my God, they keep pumping these things out. I will not be surprised when season one launched if they were working on season five and all the other ones were done by the sounds of it. Uh, but it shows how quickly they can turn them out if they didn't. Um, but yeah, I just want to make a quick video showcasing that because I think it was one of the main things. And especially after season two came out, it was like everybody who, you know, was making dinosaur content was like, theories, theories, what is E750? <laughs> but we've kind of seen it now. Um, and it, it, it's kind of up there, you know? It's like if uh, when Fallen Kingdom was coming out, we saw Indominus Indoraptor. We're like, oh, well, look, this is Indoraptor. So this is obviously going to be the main antagonist for season three, which of course, like I said, we will do which watch party, a witch party on the channel. So stay tuned for that. I'll, you know, I'll mention it in a post or something like that, or at least the day that it comes out, we'll definitely do it. So keep an eye on the channel when that happens. But anyway, guys, just a short video. I, don't know, I did have another video for tonight, but I'll save that for tomorrow. We aren't I lovely? How dare I? So that's gonna wrap it up. Uh, leave a like if you want. I don't know if that does anything anymore. But anyway, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.